Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, February 24th. Today is day 55 of the quest calendar. Let's get right into it. Get our daily dose of dungeon crawling and our RDA of RPG. So yesterday we came to the goblin on the bridge. Some of you guys had a very cinematic day. Grabbing him off and attacking him. Others of you like me, kicked a rock and got an axe thrown at you. What does today have in store? So we're not picking an adventure today. Today we are going to be attacked. You venture further into the cave. It is damp and cold. The soft ground crunches beneath your feet. A stench of goblin feces and musk hits your nose. It isn't long before you're met by a band of ugly goblins responsible for that stench. So today we're going to be attacked by three goblins. We're going to roll our d20 plus our attack and then damage for each of these guys. Alright, so over here at the tower, we are going to roll a d20 plus our attack, which for Jasper is a plus 4, and his damage will be a d10. So again, we're going to roll both of these guys at the same time, and we're going to do this first for goblin number 1. So goblin 1, we roll a 9 plus 4 is 13 for our attack, and a 7 for the damage. And what we'll do is we'll put this little chart up there in the corner, so we can keep track of our attacks per goblin. This will be goblin number two. So 10 and four is 14 and a nine for our damage. And now here for the last goblin, number three. Not as good on this guy. We come up with a five and four is a nine and a four on the damage. All right, so what do all those rolls equate to? Well, let's run through our goblins here. Goblin number one, we rolled a 13, so we hit the goblin because our attack was 12 or more, and then we actually killed the goblin because our damage roll was a seven, and we only needed a four to kill him. So, goblin number one down. Goblin number two, our attack roll was a 14, so again, we hit him with that because we rolled more than a 9. And our damage roll was a 9, we only needed a 5 to kill goblin number 2. So we are 2 for 2, this goblin number 2 is also dead. For goblin number 3, we didn't do as well there, we only rolled a 9 for our attack, so our attack misses because we rolled a 12 or less. So we come down here, it says, if you missed, then the goblin shoots you with an arrow. If your armor is 16 or less, reduce your health by 1. Looking over here at our character sheet, we can see that our armor is 15. So we're going to reduce our health by 1, leaving us with 11 at the end of today. Alright guys, so we go through the tunnel and somehow across a bridge, under a bridge, over a bridge, not to grandmother's house, but into some fecal smelling goblins. I went two for three, taking those guys out, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Still got 11 points of health left over. How'd you guys wind up doing today? Let me know down there in the comments. And while you're there, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you guys come back tomorrow. Hopefully we're going to find Victor here sooner or later, and then turn him in for a healthy reward. And pick up some meal rations for sure. Maybe some health kits, uh, or whatever they call them in the quest calendar. I forgot what they were called back there at the, at the market. But I'm going to pick up some of those too because I'll get a healthy return when we turn in Victor. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow and we'll see what happens then. I'll look for you guys then.